In one of my last videos, I shared a peek of the brand new CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 hour ultra matte lipsticks with you. And so many of you wanted a full video on them. So here we are. Today, I'm going to be sharing live lip swatches, plus my review and an eight hour before and after wear photo. If you're new here, hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. Now these lipsticks are supposed to last up to 24 hours. They're supposed to increase lip moisture up to 40% instantly, and they claim to be kiss proof, waterproof, and transfer proof. And they also make the heavy claim of delivering a comfortable matte finish without any flaking or cracking. I'm gonna share my review with you while we have the lip swatches playing on the screen, so let's get straight into it. These lipsticks just glide on like butter. So the claim that they increase lip moisture by 40%, like I feel that and I would probably agree with that straight off the bat. They just don't apply like a matte lipstick and that makes them so nice to apply. Now what we did see in that first impression video and you might see it a little bit in these swatches as well, they kind of catch at the lip texture. You'll see the pigment sort of build up if you do have dry patches, but this is really easy to smooth out either by just layering the lipstick a little bit or mushing your lips together slightly. So even if your lips are just slightly chapped, these lipsticks will still apply over that pretty nicely. Now these do take a minute to dry down. Like I said, they apply super buttery and very slick, but they dry down to a flat matte classic finish. I wouldn't like eat or drink right away after applying the lipstick because those transfer proof claims only kick in once the matte finish appears. I would say at least give yourself about an hour between application and eating. So once it dries down to that flat matte finish, you do get a little bit of accentuation of your lip lines. It's not super dramatic, but I did want to mention that they will become a little bit more obvious as with most matte lipsticks. And depending on how deep your lip lines are personally, you may see a little bit of the color kind of fall into those lines. All of these lipsticks are incredibly lightweight and they have so much pain. Pigment. And because they glide on, they're also really easy to layer up or reapply. Now there's only one dud that I tried in this bunch, which is the shade Come Through. It applies really streaky. It doesn't really dry down as much, which is unfortunate because this really deep, almost blackened blue, super unique, really fun color, but it just does not belong on the same playing field as the others. Now, even though these lipsticks do moisturize when you apply them, once they're dried down, my lips don't feel moisturized. So they're not offering all day moisture at all. It's really only when you first put them on, but my lips don't feel intensely dry. They just don't feel moisturized. I also do want to say, as I was testing these out, my lips were actually kind of chapped and I did notice that on the dry pieces of lip, I did get a little bit of flaking. So in terms of the no cracking, no flaking claim, I'm assuming that is if you are starting out with smooth lips. So here is a before and after photo showing my lips freshly applied and then eight hours later and after a meal. As you can see, I still have a ton of color in my lips, obviously and very commonly, I do have that inner portion that has faded away from eating and drinking. But again, these lipsticks are really easy to reapply and honestly, at this level of fading, I don't feel super eager to reapply. Like I'm okay chilling, looking like this. Being such a flat matte finish, these are definitely more comfortable than an ultra matte liquid lipstick because you're not getting that like sealed in feeling that a lot of matte liquid lipsticks give. Now I want to talk a little bit about the physical aspects of this lipstick because I love a good round shaped bullet. It makes it so easy to carve out around Cupid's bow and then it gives you a really nice sharp edge if you want to line the lips and you know just have everything come out very clean. As far as the packaging I'm also a very big fan. It has sort of that velvety matte touch to it and it closes really securely. Like it's actually a little bit of a struggle to pull it open, but I like that because one, it's not going to open in my bag. So that's nice. But two, it's a really nice seal. So I think that it will preserve the moisturizing properties of the lipstick a little bit longer. Overall, still a very big fan of these lipsticks since my first impression in that last video. Now that I've actually tested these out, worn them for several days, I do think that these are a much better choice over the comfortable matte Revlon lipsticks that I 
just did a video for. Not only do they look better if your lips do happen to be slightly dry, but they dry down faster and better so that you don't experience as much transfer or any feathering at all. Tell me your favorite shade we swatched in the comments below and also let me know if you liked this video format where I share my review over the swatches. Today's shout out goes to Andrea. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad and join me over in this video next where I share with you 10 products that would make a perfect minimal makeup collection. I'll see you over there. Bye!